get out of here where the sky is clear i feel the breeze run through my hair and all our worries disappear hey guys welcome to sunshine farm i'm jen and i'm chris and we want to take you on a spring farm tour mm. this so one loves us so darn cute he's so cute <laughs> Just so nice. <clears throat> so I'm gonna switch it up. Last time I recorded a farm tour, which was in the winter, there's snow. I started off in the very front and finished in the very back. But this time I'm gonna start in the back in our trails, which is pretty magical this time of year. Over here, we have a lot of purple dead nettle. It's pretty much all around our property. <laughs> You're it's hilarious. Be every single shot. And a ton of wild violet. It loves this maple tree. And a wild basil. Only grown here at the Sunshine Farm. One of our silver maples is blooming maple tree produced a lot of maple syrup for us. Why do you think so much? Fungi. Well, I don't know, but this tree produces a lot of sap, so it's obviously healthy. Look at all those greens, too. Whoa, kitty. I finally can identify this tree. I believe it is a red maple. Which is good for tapping. We got two of them right here. We just have tons and tons of wild blackberry. is an apple tree, a wild apple tree. Also, there's even a little bird nest in there. An empty bird nest, but pretty cute. Pretty cute, right Basil? <laughs> You're everywhere. Trail back there. I want to show you guys those trees. They're so pretty. Look at all these blackberries. Here we're at the top of the property. You guys remember me showing you the same view in the winter. It's a lot different now. farm up here. These beautiful trees in bloom. <laughs> Where are you going, you goof? Adventure cat. These trees are so pretty at this time of year. I like to walk out here just to see them because they're so gorgeous. I wish I could capture the stillness of walking back here with you guys. The soft bird sounds and the trees in bloom, the sky, the sun shining through the trees, it's so beautiful. So cute. Very atypical. She's just hanging out in his arms as we walk down the hill. <laughs> so where are you at with the barn? Right now we are getting ready to get the roof put on. Uh, the dormer is pretty much wrapped up, and we're just kind of chugging along. See, 
There's the dormer. What are you doing back there? Just got our four goats. Our four adopted goats in their goat run. There's their shelter that Chris built off the barn. Right there. He's got a little hay feeder that he needs to work out some kinks with. And they have a bunch of other shelters. They love this tree so much. They'll do anything to try to get the pine needles from this tree. <laughs> he looks hilarious. Look at his belly. I know. That's, they're so smart. And Jen recently built this chicken tractor right here. So our lovely little door. It's eight feet by four feet. So this is our workshop right now. It is not the clean barn that it was at one point. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff right now. It's just chaos. Real life, guys. Real life. And there's Basil again, because she follows us everywhere. It's actually really fun to share this spring tour with you guys, because our plans and stuff have changed so much over the past year. I mean, last spring was our first year gardening, and... We really had no plans of having an orchard at that point or mm -mm. it's actually when we kind of discovered homesteading was last year. So I would say <laughs> this is our first spring on our homestead. Before that, it was just spring on our, on our little hobby farm. Our property. Our property. Now it's spring on our homestead where we're growing food and we've got lots of dreams and goals and <laughs> it's so peaceful today. I know. It was a rainy, so crummy far. day all day today, and then the sun came out right when we got home, which was perfect because I ran out of time to record this video, and then it ended up being perfect weather. And it was windy when I got home, and then the wind died down, so pretty fantastic. Since I showed you guys the goats, we have acquired one more goat. We also finally got some Premier One electric netting. We've been able to free range the birds in this area. Then the silky run is almost all done, so they get lots more space. Oh, we have another kitty that's coming to say hi. Oh, you're squirmy. Hi. Did a climbing rose bush here, and the goal is for it to climb all along the run. But the petals will fall, and they're really good for the chickens. Our resident roo. Beyonce, so good to see you, pretty girl. Your coat is looking so pretty. So here we have our large coop. What do we got today? Got two in there and two in here. We have our silkies, our little fuzzy friends. They're so cute. Hi. Hey guys. Then we have John Ralphio over there, our rooster. Silky rooster. We have a broody one. She's the loudest broody I've ever had. <laughs> She's so funny. Hey. You've seen the goats, you've seen the main chicken flock, you've seen the silky chicken flock, you've seen the chicks, you've seen the trails, you've seen the barn. So last but not least is the garden and the orchard. I forgot to record this part yesterday when I recorded the rest, but I figured you guys didn't want a full farm tour without the horses. So I just wanted to show you guys the horses and what they're up to real quick, and then we'll continue on. Such a gorgeous day again. Two gorgeous days in a row, I will take that. Although it's a little chilly, it's like 50 degrees, so a little chilly for me. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. So we have TJ here, and as you can tell, 
He's doing just fine. He loves this time of year. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> Why? Why are you looking at me? What you doing? He's so sweet, guys. So this is TJ. He is my solid paint horse. He's 11. He is so kind, so sweet, so gentle. He's a great under saddle. He's a great riding horse, but I don't ride him too much these days. I'm too busy. He loves neck scratches. Oh, he's got a bug bite. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> what are you doing, goofball? Where is Justin? Oh, he's back there. And Justin is a miniature pony who's turning five this year. They're sweethearts. They're sweethearts. Love attention, love people, and I love having them so close to the garden, guys. My garden, my horses. I love how they visit me when I'm out here. Makes me so happy. Makes me feel like the happiest girl in the world. So as you can see, their pasture is greening up and they have all the way out there to pass that fence and beyond and a couple acres of pasture out there. Hey, we're a little guy. Hi, Justin. So let's go into the garden and I'll show you guys what we have going on and talk a little bit about what we're planning. Most of our garden is in ground, but we do have these three raised beds here. And we have some onions that are planted. We have more onions and uh, parsnips or turnips. I can't remember which one. And then a bunch of little carrots that are starting to germinate. Some lettuce that reseeded itself. And then over here, I just have, I actually have some something that overwintered. I don't remember what this was some more onions. I'm going to fill in the middle with beets. planted some different flowers in the front, some calendula and poppies and nasturtium. Um, and then in the middle, you can see one of my artichoke plants is right there. And I'm gonna plant another artichoke plant right in here. Over here, I planted more potatoes. You can see them coming up right now, right here. Um, they're coming up over here. They were actually store-bought potatoes that had already started sprouting. And so I just decided to plant them. They were organic, so in here, I have two rows of lentils and they're all sprouting. You can see them all right here. They're doing really well. And then in the middle, I have a row of radishes. So many of my cabbage made a comeback. Um, some of them are still looking a little rough, as you can see like this one right here. I don't know that that one's gonna make a comeback, but we do have some over here, like that one and that one. This one's doing awesome. So we'll see what happens. Pak choy over here. I have some broccoli, more cabbage, and some more onions, because this year is the year of the onions, I guess. Over here, we've got some strawberries. They totally just spread. I think I started with four plants, and there's like 10 or 12 now. Right along this trellis we have peas. They're just starting to grow tendrils and they're just really starting to kind of come up now. So once they get a little bigger, they should be able to hold on to the trellis. 
amongst lots of weeds that we need to pull, we have some true shallots. So these guys are doing really well. I planted them in the fall. Greens going all the way down. I have different kinds of spinach, different kinds of kale, a mesclun mix, all kinds of greens. And garlic, about a half a row of garlic. I've got some tomatoes that I planted uh, a couple days ago and they're all looking really, really good. Eighteen tomato plants. They're spaced only about eighteen inches or so apart. Um, I do prune to a single vine, so they should be just fine that way. But um, I planted them a little early, but I do have row cover, so if it gets cold at night, which it's supposed to tonight, they'll be just fine. And I have more potatoes over here because I wanted to plant some potatoes in the original garden, just to see how they compare to the new no-till beds. Welcome to our orchard. This is eventually going to be covered all with a thick layer of wood chips, like this entire area, but um, we don't have that kind of capacity to do it right now. This is a pioneer cherry tree. We have three different kinds of blueberries. They're all high bush varieties. A peach tree over here, but it's looking good. Over here we've got a hazelnut tree. Hazelnut seedlings. That one's a little younger than the others. This is another pioneer cherry. We've got, we've got another hazelnut seedling. This one's a little bigger. We planted some blackberries here, but they're, they're not really doing anything. So uh, it could be that they didn't make it. If they don't perk up, then it, it's kind of okay because as you can see, there's some blackberries in our food forest all over this area. We've got a pear tree right here. This one is one of the slower ones to perk up and wake up. It's a Shinko pear, which is I believe a kind of Asian pear, but I don't remember. This is a Rainier sweet cherry. This is a Milden apple tree. Look at all these blossoms. So exciting. Um, this is a black ice plum. It's looking really beautiful. It's a Stella sweet cherry. The cherries seem to be thicker than some of the other ones, but it's looking really good. So our raspberries are all starting to come to life. They're producing their leaves. Well, most of them are at least. This is a Cortland apple tree. And I believe this is another Red Haven peach. Yep, this is a peach tree. Yep. No peaches this year. Closing this thing out. Yeah. One. So that's it. That is a full long tour of our farm. Our homestead, our permaculture orchard, our no-till garden, our barn in the progress of renovation, our trails and our crazy cute cats our chicken coops. You nailed it. All the stuff. I hope you enjoyed this tour and I would love to hear about what you want to see more of in the comments below. And Basil wants to say bye. Basil. Ah! Nope, she doesn't want to say bye. <laughs> she got mud on me. Bye friends, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>